Last night's brutal attack sent shockwaves through our community and around the world. Yet with God's help, the casualties were less extensive than what might have been. Our hearts and prayers are with those who are injured, especially the elderly congregant who remains in critical condition at this time. We would like to extend our deepest appreciation to the myriad emergency response crews, police, and official dignitaries, including local, state, and federal officials who sprang into action with impressive readiness, professionalism, and concern. Following last night's attack, Rabbi Rottenberg continued with his weekly Sabbath closure ceremonies, known as Malava Malka. With singing and dancing, the rabbi and his congregants declared their gratitude for the lives saved and exemplified the message, we will persevere. I thank Hashem for the open miracles we saw last night, though we must all take the precautions that have unfortunately become basic security necessities, locking our shuls, ad schools, and doors, and having an emergency preparedness plan. We will forge forward in faith and thanks that we continue to live under God's ultimate protection. Thank you. Tour dedication, um, in spite of what happened last night, is just a great opportunity to bring unity and to show everybody that no matter what happens, no matter who tries um, to destroy us in any way, we will still rise and we will be happy and we will praise our God and we will celebrate Him and His Torah that He gave to us, which is what gives us such an amazing life. So it's the last night of Hanukkah and, um, you know, it's it's a time of miracles and happiness and I'm just so happy to be here and part of this um, great community and just to have the opportunity to see uh, God's miracles and that everyone, you know, even that they were attacked, they were saved and it's just, we should continue to see God's miracles and protecting His people. <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed with emotion that, that this could happen, that I, there are no words, but, but the fact that today we had this incredible celebration, it's, it's, it just reminds me that there's always hope, even when things seem so bleak, that, that there's always hope, and that even in such darkness, when, when, there's, when, there seems like, when it seems like there's only darkness, then it's not true, because there's always, there's always, there's always hope, and Today I saw that. It's time that you know we protect ourselves. We can't let what happened last night ever happen again. That's the saying never again is being taken serious right now. We're gonna make sure that that doesn't happen, what happened in the Holocaust. You know, that Jews could be killed indiscriminately and it starts with these little things and it gets worse. And uh, they also need to stop uh, Talking all the hateful rhetoric and uh, on social media and in the news, they don't say the nicest things about Jews, so that also has to stop.